Hello YouTube, this is Fallon here, the Yarn Whisperer, back with you again. I wanted to today do something just a little bit different. I have purchased three sets of hooks from Wish. Three sets, three different sets of crochet hooks from Wish. And I'm going to review them with you today. What I did in preparation of this video, however, uh, I did set aside an envelope. I know that seems weird, but I'm working on a darker surface than usual. And these are some hooks that I've already owned. And I want to make sure that whenever comparing the hooks so that you can get a real good look at it, I've got this piece of paper to sit behind it. That way you get a really good view and the camera will definitely focus on what I'm wanting it to focus on. And the hooks that I've chosen aren't at random. I picked an aluminum hook in one size. I picked, I don't even remember the brand that this hook is in a different size. And then this is my tried and true 4.25 millimeter hook that I use all the time. It's one of my favorites. And all of these sizes, I picked them to compare to a hook out of one of the collections that I'm going to show you so that we can see are they exactly alike are they a little different pros and cons all of that and then you can leave me a comment down below what you think and if you like this type of video and if you'd like for me to review other things while you're at it go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already and give me a like on the video because that will definitely help out my channel and feel free to share this with your friends and uh, family who may or may not crochet. So the first set of hooks, getting on with the video, the first set of hooks came in this bag and it came with some extras in the bag and the price for this set I believe with shipping was about five dollars this is one of the more expensive ones but I thought for a whole set of hooks for five dollars heck you can't beat that and they threw in extra stuff now I will say I'll put this up really close to the camera the what does it say the greatest happiness in life and if you look right there You'll see that they failed to put a space in between happiness and in. So I'm kind of curious to see what we have inside. It is a standard little zipper bag. I don't feel like this is necessary. Um, I think that it would have been just fine on its own. But anyway, before we get to the hook portion of it, let's go over the extra stuff that they put inside. There is a tape measure, just a simple cheap tape measure. It's very thin. That's like paper thin. Just a simple tape measure. They put a stitch counter. We've seen these before. And I guess, hmm. I don't know what this second side does. Okay, here we go. Maybe if you have to count your stitches and then you get so many rows or something. I've never used a stitch counter. I may grab a scrap piece of paper if I'm wanting to be super precise. Other than that, I'm, I've never really used a stitch counter. So the next thing that we have is quite a few plastic darning needles and I'll even take those out of the package so we can see I'll take some of them out of the package they're not all wanting to make an appearance we'll take one of each color how's that and each size there the blue ones are a little larger than the pink ones are and there's the different needles there get a set of stitch markers and I also don't really use stitch markers that often I will say that in my beginner series that I'm working on with you all I am going to use stitch markers just to give an example of how they work and how to mark your project to make sure that you don't lose track of where you are it's just a very basic simple stitch marker works perfect 
And there's a whole bunch of those. And lastly, I feel like this is very dangerous. I don't... Okay, so I don't... I don't want to just stick my finger in there, but this this is a uh, it's a yarn cutter that you wear on your finger. I just I feel like that's really dangerous, but there's a quick way to cut your yarn. There is a blade. There's definitely a blade in there. Well, let's see. If this will make it show up any better. There's a blade in there, all right. So, tell me what you think, if you've ever used any product like that. Okay, so we've got the bag, we've got all of our extra pieces that they sent us, and now here is the array of hooks, and I'll try to very quickly arrange them from largest to smallest. Let's see, we've got an eight millimeter is the largest hook. And it goes, there's a 6, a 5.5, a 5, this is a 7, I didn't say that, 4.5, 4, a 3.5, a 3, a 2.5, and a 2 millimeter hook. So, the crochet hook that I want to compare sizes with is, is it the 6.5? I don't think so. I think it was the 4.25 that I wanted to, well, sugar. I did not get one the right size. Let's see if I have something close. To a five millimeter. We'll compare the five millimeter to it. That's a fairly average hook size so already you can see it's a little bit shorter and we'll take this and compare the hooks you tell me what you think they're similar I feel like I feel like the edge of this one sticks out a little further. Does that make sense? It sticks out just a little bit further. And the top of this is a little pointier. I don't know if that makes any difference or not. But that is a noticeable difference. And I do wonder, uh, when we looked at the, the bag, when they... When they didn't get the space put in between the word happiness and in, I kind of wonder if some of this is factory reject because if you look closely at some of these, you'll see this little rubber bit that didn't get cut off in the process of making them. What I do enjoy about these hooks, and I've not used them, I've not tried them out yet or anything, what I do enjoy about them, however, is that the size is imprinted into the rubber grip handle. So where this one, it's a 4.25, and I know that because I, it's one of my favorite hooks, but it was printed on this instead of indented. And so that printing is obviously worn off after so much use, and these won't because obviously they're, they're in there, you know? So, I do enjoy that. So, moving on. Tell me what you think about those. Let's put this up. We'll get all of these things back into our bag here. Put all of these away. And then the next set of hooks, I was really excited about these. I think I only paid $3 for this set. It was relatively inexpensive. And they are solid wood. They are bamboo hooks. And this is something that Wish is kind of known for advertising. And I just sort of wondered how they were. And I will say, other than this set, I do not own any hooks that have that shape of a hook. This inline, I think is what they call it. I guess I like for my hooks to be a little out of line. <laughs> Um, 
I don't, I've tried crocheting with a hook shaped this way before and it just isn't my favorite. So the smallest size hook that we have, and again, I am appreciative because the size is carved into the wooden hook. The smallest size we have is a three millimeter. Let's see if you can even see that. I can barely see that. Three millimeter hook. And then it goes up to a size 10 millimeter hook right there. We're using all natural lighting, by the way. This is sunshine coming in, so we don't have uh, we don't have a big spotlight on my hands today. And let's see, I've got a 6.5 millimeter here and a 6.5 millimeter here. I'll show you, there's that. And ooh, stay on focus here. 6.5 millimeter right there and making sure that I get this in the camera right. It's a little upside down, but I'm getting a little bit of shadow. So you tell me what you think. I think it's pretty close. And I, I think it's a good set of hooks. Now, um, I will say this hook Ooh, I am terrified of this hook. I mean, there's there's a little bit of bend to that. Do you see that? I feel like, because sometimes, especially if I get in a hurry and I'm crocheting, sometimes my tension will just naturally get a little tighter. And I just worry, m maybe my tension doesn't even get tighter. My grip on my hook gets tighter. And I do fear that I would snap this in half. You tell me what you think and let me know in the comments. So, oh, and the other thing I wanted to show you that I, I think is kind of neat, but also kind of creepy, the bottoms of the hooks, that phobia that people have where there's holes and stuff. Uh, I don't know if it's showing up on camera all that great, but you can really see on this one. It, it's kind of creepy looking. So, we'll put those to the side. And the last set of hooks, and I'm actually really excited about this set of hooks because I don't know that I really have, I've, I've never really crocheted thread, I've never really done a lot of um, small fine yarn, but this set of hooks is so tiny. It's so little. The smallest size hook is a 0.6 millimeter. Let me double check to make sure. I didn't even know that a 0.6 millimeter hook existed. I'm just going to put that out there. You tell me if you've ever crocheted with one. But I mean, we it gets into such precise sizing. Like we've got a 0.75, a 0.9 millimeter, a 0.6, 1.75, 1.5, 1.25, a 1.0. And the smallest hook that I actually owned before this was a 1.5, and I think that's the biggest. No, there's a 1.75, but it's almost the biggest one that's in the collection here. And this is definitely where I'll need the um, piece of paper to compare. I feel like maybe the hook set is a little larger. The handles are definitely shorter. What do you use these for? Has anybody crocheted with one this small before? I have used this one once. I did make a bookmark with yarn thread or the, uh, it comes in different colors and it's on like a little spool kind of thing. It's not thread thread. It's a little bit thicker than thread. You know what I'm talking about? Maybe somebody. And, but seriously, what in the world, like, what am I supposed to use that for? What is this? Would that even work? Is that even going to crochet anything? I just don't understand. What, like, unless it's regular thread, what am I using it for? Let me know in the comments down below if you've ever used a hook this small. And I'm hopefully going to set up a way where if you have done projects like this or if you if we do a project together and 
you want to show me your work that you can shoot me a picture. Uh, I would love to see everybody's creations and thank you so much for watching and I will see you again on the Yarn Whisperer. Bye!